So everybody, hello, if you didn't hear, the number one Warframe event, Prime Resurgence, is back. But this is also the most hated event Warframe has had in a long time. And we'll talk about why that is. It was very simple, right? It's an event in which you can buy Warframes, essentially, Warframe Primes, accessories, etc. Because Prime Vaulting is probably a bit too long of a process these days with how many Warframes are out. So, it's just another alternative type of Prime on Vaulting, where you can either straight up buy the things, or the free-to-play route, right? And this is why people are more angry. Less about you be being able to buy stuff, more about the free-to-play route. So, they kind of screwed it up a little bit. The free-to-play route was you farm Aya, but you could only farm Aya on a certain subsection of Warframe, which was the entirety of the Void map at a pretty whatever drop rate, depending on what map you're running. You could get it from Bounties, the best one being Ghoul Purge, which they then took out early because it was too good, and then people got angry. And then I think the best from there was like either Deimos or Fortuna, probably Fortuna being second, Deimos being third. But hey, and that was it. You could also, sorry, get it from Relic Packs at also a really low drop rate. I managed to open like 10 or 11 and get zero Aya, so hey. And you used one Aya to buy one Relic right, of the Prime that is unvaulted in Prime Resurgence event for the week. And at the time, it came with two rotations of Prime Warframes and, you know, their weapons, what have you, right? It was like, again, a condensed fast version of Prime Unvaulting, where every week you get two new Warframes and their weapons unvaulted that you can purchase with Aya or Regal Aya that you buy with money. So yeah, that's how the whole event goes. And people were very angry, me included, because I was like, what? <laughs> what? We can only really farm Aya properly on the Void or straight up, like straight up on random, random maps, also known as bounties, okay? That's what I'm calling random maps. Ba like bounties, Void, and Relic Packs, not the, not the optimal farming solution, I would say. So Warframe has finally let us know. Prime Resurgence returns September 14th. That is when Veil Breaker Part 2 update hits and we can do more call missions, weekly stuff, etc. So we're going to take a look at the forum post and then we're going to take a look at the actual YouTube video because they, they have one of those. Because, hey, why, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Here is Prime Resurgence Returns. Reinforce your arsenal with the pinnacle of Oricon technology. Grind Resurgence returns once again, this time to stay. To stay, everybody, my god. Reinforce your arsenal with the greatest creations of the Orican Empire with the help of Varzia Dax starting September 14th. So it looks like it's now gonna be just like permanent, much like primed unvaulting and prime vaulting. This is just gonna forever be a thing, I assume, and just swap out every week, I guess. I don't I don't know, but that's that's how that looks like. So on September 14th, the Prime Vault closes for good. In its place comes the new and improved Resurgence. After listening to your feedback, we saw a clear opportunity to improve both Prime Vault and Prime Resurgence, bringing more value to the program for the Warframe community and ultimately more Primes into your arsenal. With our new program, you can expect to see monthly rotations filled with Prime Warframes, weapons, accessories, and more at a much higher rate. Okay. Okay, I mean, like, that's that sounds pretty cool. I, I like how that sounds. It's probably still a pain to get Aya comparatively, but, like, as long as it's way more casual, I'm fine with that. Earn by playing. With Prime Resurgence, you'll have a more direct path to earning Prime Warframes and weapons through gameplay. Earn Aya in missions to purchase Void Relics containing the specific Prime component you want from Varzia. Either in a relay or right from the in-game market, or go straight to Maru's Bazaar via the Void Relic segment aboard your Orbiter. Okay, so now you can just straight up purchase it like in markets too, like anywhere, made it a lot easier. I guess that maybe is good. Yeah, it'll be a huge disaster in the in-game market of prime selling, buying, purchasing, etc. So we'll definitely have to see how prices change around there. I've never been like a huge seller or purchaser of primes, what have you. Maybe I casually sell things here and there when I have too much, but 
I threw everything to the void for Barrow, so I have nothing now. But market's gonna be a huge mess. Or instantly access. But people also said this last year when Prime Resurgence happened, and I mean, the game's nine years old, so the market's already kind of a mess, so I, I wouldn't worry about it too much, to be fair. It's already a huge mess. Or instantly access. For each new rotation, you'll be able to access all the available Prime items instantly with Regal Aya, the, the money pay to win option. The price of Regal Aya has not increased since last year's Prime Resurgence event, and Platinum is still included with each purchase. You hear that, everyone? Unaffected by inflation, Regal Aya beats the US and Canadian dollar in the inflation market. 0% inflation rate. Just kidding, we still have to buy it with money, we're screwed. It's still, it's still expensive, I cry. With Regal Aya, you have more agency in choosing the specific Prime item that they want to purchase with Regal Aya, including individual Prime accessories. However, you can still purchase bundles for Regal Aya as well. Straight up looks like this is like replacing Prime vaulting, so that's interesting. Why should you collect primes? Hey, well yeah, why would you guys want primes? Like, what do you, why would you want those? Do you guys even like primes? Do you not like the, what's going on? So, why should you collect primes? Prime Warframes, weapons, and gear are some of the most impressive in Warframe, wow. And the pinnacle, pinnacle of Oricon technology. These golden paragons that make up the Prime Vanguard of symbols of heroism and are capable of incredible feats. Boasting boosted stats and additional mod polarity, they are more customizable than your standard Warframe. And if you want to take on the hardest challenges in Warframe, like the new Archon Hunts and Veilbreaker, it's a good idea to bring a Prime or two along. Uh, prime numbers are bigger than non-Prime numbers. Boom! That's about it. Jump in game on September 14th to take part in the return of Varzia Dax and Prime Resurgence and see the reveal of the first rotation. Yeah, I mean, fair enough, fair enough. It's dropping with Veilbreaker 2, Electric Boogaloo. We're getting Varzia Dax as well. We'll take a look and actually go say hi to Varzia Dax after as we can still talk to her, I believe, in any sort of relay. Unless I'm wrong, was it like Earth Strader relay she was at? Oh god, I might have to double check that one, but hey, we'll see, we'll see. I think she was in any relay, right? And see, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. That was the forum post. Looks like they didn't go over everything specific. Maru's, Maru's, oh god, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at that, Just Mars. Oh my god, I've made a grave error, everyone. Grave error. Either way, so... Warframe official Prime Resurgence returns trailer. Um, yeah, see, this was what I was talking about. These goofballs, they didn't even link to the actual Prime Resurgence news post. They just linked to Warframe.com. So, you know what? Very rude of Warframe. <laughs> very, very rude. And of course, I said, oh geez, here it comes. So without further ado, I'll turn off the music and we will take a look. Oh my. Mature 17 plus. <sighs> Valbin, my god. It's back, baby! <laughs> Upgrade your arsenal monthly. You see that? Monthly. So instead of weekly, a monthly rotation. Hog. Oh my god. Look at Oberon being a bro. Earn by playing or instantly unlock with your credit card. Pay to win, baby! Just how, like, my channel memberships in Prime is pay to win, because you get dog emotes. But that's about it. <laughs> you get dog emotes? What? Together. So, this is what I wanted to see. Are we getting... Are we getting Mesa and Nova Prime first? And then Limbo Prime and Necros Prime? Other? Then we Saren and then Vobin? Can. Then, oh, is that Hydroid? And I think that's Valkyr. Sorry, the base Prime skins are always hard nowadays to realize what they are. Then that's Prime, F Ember, and then Frost. Okay. Bring the prime. That's Trinity, and that's Ash. Okay. That's your boy Loki. That's your boy Volt. That's your girl Meg. And that's your boy Rhino. And then you get it. I know, it's pr it's gonna work the same pretty much. It's gonna work the same. Whales rejoice. 
People with money, go burr. I will try to farm stuff. So, that's a thing. I really hope that we can farm Aya in more than just the goddamn void and bounties and relic packs. Please, Warframe. Please. As long as you do that, we're gonna have a good time, okay? We're gonna have a good time. But, let's take a look at in-game, see what's up with Maru. I thought she was always just kind of stationed over here. People are saying she was in Maru's Bazaar. I was thinking she was in like other any other relay, but I'm probably wrong. To be fair, okay? To be fair. So, hey, it is what it is. We'll take a look as she has some leftover loot the last time I checked, but maybe they took her out without me realizing, you know? Like, who actually knows? Who actually knows? This is where Varzia Dax was. Is ya girl the horniest NPC in all of Warframe? If you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. So she actually explains everything. If you wanna ask her about this, kind of. She she has voice lines, she talks. She, she's chill, she's chill. But this is how it works, right? Huh? You can use Regal Aya to just straight up buy the packs, and they're like, they're already old ones still in here for people who just have leftover Regal Aya. So this was like the pay to win option, right? This was the pay to win option, without a doubt. And then that's chill. And you could also individually buy things down here, which isn't too bad if, you know, it's something you wanted. Accessories, stuff like that the guns themselves, right? You didn't have to buy the relics. And then you could buy noggles, wow, and random stuff. You could convert orican ducats, in, orican ducats into Aya? No, Aya into orican ducats. Not worth it, don't do that. You could get a handful of other cosmetics, okay? So that was cool. And then you just straight up buy the relics here with Aya. And the Aya, again, you could farm from a handful of missions, and it's just that simple, right? It's just that simple. So it's your choice on if the Relic event, Prime Resurgence monthly event is going to be good now. Comparative to last year, looks like it's gonna be a lot better and hopefully it'll be easier and less painful to farm up just general Aya, right? That's the, that's the hope, okay? We're all hoping, dear God, let us farm Aya on any type of map instead of restricting it to literally the void, bounties, and then relic packs. Cause honestly, that's some literal CBT right there. That's just not fair. <laughs> Nobody was happy with that shit. Everyone was so sad. <laughs> Other than that, I mean like, it'd be good, but Oh my god, it was so restricted last year that I just wanted to cry and just look into a corner. So, we'll have to see. If we can only get it in like those two, maybe three locations again, I don't give a shit about the event. It'll be a whales event and that's about it. But, if we can farm Aya as it replaces just relic, a relic drop on every drop table, that'll be pretty cool. Because at least then there's a chance, right, of you casually playing the game and getting Aya. But we'll have to wait and see, of course, and yeah, as always, follow the YouTube, follow the Twitch, follow all the other social medias in whatever the description of whatever social media you're on, right? Nice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Epic Games creator code Pupsker if you buy anything, because it helps the channel. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cheers.